Hey, welcome back to OrthoNodes. In this video, let's talk about a hold relax PNF technique to increase tissue extensibility. So uh, PNF stands for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation and hold relax is gonna be a combination of an isometric contraction followed by the relax or the stretch of the target muscle. So first of all, so we're on the same page with terminology, the target muscle or the muscle that is adaptively shortened or tight, we're gonna call the antagonist. So the way I teach our students is the antagonist in a play or a movie is the bad guy. It's the villain. So let's look at the muscle that is adaptively shortened or tight as the bad guy, the, the target muscle that we need to stretch. So with hold relax, we're going to contract the antagonist and then we're going to stretch the antagonist. The typical dosage that is described in a number of resources we use in the PT world is going to be a five second isometric contraction followed by a 10 second stretch. And that's typically repeated three to four times. Now let's talk about the underlying physiology, neurophysiology about why PNF hold relax tends to be effective at increasing tissue extensibility. Now more of the traditional neurophysiological theory as to why it's effective is based on this concept of autogenic inhibition. So when you isometrically contract a muscle, you activate the Golgi tendon organ or the GTO, which is the force gauge within muscle tissue. And when you then um, cease that isometric contraction, you get this residual inhibition or residual relaxation of the muscle, which in theory makes that follow-up stretch that much more effective. Again, mixed results. It's a bit controversial as to how much neurophysiology plays a role in the effectiveness of hold relax techniques. The other thought is a bit more basic. It's based on uh, primarily viscoelastic properties of tissue. So when you contract the muscle, that creates tensile loading at the musculotendinous unit, which then increases extensibility, or I should say elongates the musculotendinous unit, which then overall would increase the extensibility of the muscle when you you know, if you were to follow up with a muscle length, ten uh, muscle length test, uh, you would see that increased extensibility. Uh, so that's the thought behind uh, hold relax. So let's do some demonstrations. Let's start by stretching the gastrocnemius muscle. So we will take the ankle into end range dorsiflexion to establish that tissue barrier. Initially starting with just a bit of a static stretch. Now we're gonna have the patient isometrically contract the plantar flexors for five seconds, they'll relax, and then we'll push a bit more into that barrier for the 10 second static stretch. And as I mentioned, we'll repeat that isometric contraction and stretch three to four times. Now let's move on to the quadriceps. The patient is in prone, so we're stretching the anterior muscles of the thigh. We have the hip in neutral and the knee flex, so we're elongating the rectus femoris. Same idea, we'll flex the knee to take up the tissue slack and establish that tissue barrier. We'll alternate between a five second isometric, isometric contraction of the knee extensors that is, followed by a 10 second stretch. Now we'll move on to stretching the hamstring. We'll flex the hip to 90 degrees, slowly extend the knee to take up the hamstring slack, establish that barrier. And again, we'll alternate between a five second isometric contraction of the hamstrings and then a 10 second stretch. Thanks a lot for watching. If you feel this video on hold relax PNF techniques was helpful, please consider giving it a like. Also comment and subscribe to our OrthoNugs channel. I've included playlists here for some other content that you're definitely gonna wanna check out from the OrthoNugs library. All right, thanks again.